Hello geocachers, it's Symbol here and I'm in the process of laying down another hidden treasures uh, trail locally. Um, I'm in Worcestershire, England in the United Kingdom and I'd like to show you some of um, the caches that I'm going to lay down. There's variations of uh, logs and camos, camo uh, caches and there's a lot to show you so I'll just um, cover the basics of building one first um, all you really need is a drill and a saw I've got a 10 millimeter there and I've got a 20 20 uh, 20 25 32 uh, I'll show you why you need the different sizes in this in a sec and um, a saw but uh, it's quicker to use this jigsaw here so uh, that's the drill the jigsaw and I'll go straight into showing you one of the, the logs that I'm just in the process of uh, building now I've nearly completed there's the top and there's the bottom and I'm going to use a uh, Gorilla Glue that Gorilla Glue there you can mix it up with a bit of water and it uh, fluffs up like this like um, and that will hold the top in place this top in place so you can actually screw it off the moment it's uh, loose so um, I've got one actually I think setting at the moment I don't know where I've put that to if I find it I'll, I'll show you uh, how it um, how it uh, fluffs up actually there's one set here this I'll show you this one there you can unscrew it can you see where it's all fluffed up the the grill glue and that's solid there and so you can actually um, screw it back on and I just wanted to show you some different variations of that uh, there's this one here this is more of a tight smaller one of the version of um, uh, let's show you that size it's one size down um, these little sample tubes you can get um, from the internet and there there is like uh, a rotten log one and I've uh, used preservative on that and there and then you can unscrew that and uh, sign it it's only got enough room for a little um, little log shoot which you can print off the internet if you search you can get an A4 and I've printed off uh, five there and I've cut I've got two left there to cut up and here's another variation I like this one it's a bit bigger look that's some um, all rotting wood and then I've cut it and drilled it and then I've made this top and put Gorilla Glue on top of them uh, on the top and you can see effective that and I've used a permanent marker to make the camo camouflage I like that one there you are and we got a little version of that and you can see I've got my little uh, ladybird um, so that can be stuck up and people can uh, spot the ladybird and think ah that, that might that might be it and it just it um, pops out like that you can actually see the little um, uh, log book inside there and you just unscrew that and then you just pop that back on there and hide it look at that that's quite effective so that's um those and I'm building you can see in the corner there I don't know if you can see that I've drilled what you need the different uh, drills of if it's a small one it's a 10 mil there and then I've used a 20 mil so you can put the top in there and unscrew it if you're using the bigger ones this isn't a softwood that was hardwood so that's oak so it'll last a long time this is softwood that's the 32 and a 25 for the bigger version uh, uh, samples sample tubes don't know what they call them and then that'll fit in there look at that oh look can you see I've just I've just I've had smoke and everything around here actually it's been I've been it's like uh, the room smokes because of the amount of drilling I've been just uh, doing uh, oh is it another, another version you can uh, drill into something I found this uh, like I think it was a football and somebody had been burning it or something I found it somewhere and I thought doesn't that look like um, a stone so you could have a st and I just drilled it with a 25 well there there's another one put that on the ground and and call it um, a stone cache in the clue 
Uh, what else could I show you? If you don't want to do all this drilling, you can actually get one of these and get some uh, griller tape and then if you uh, tape that round there and tape the lid that is that will look like a little logger then I'll show you where it ends up like there you are isn't that cool little top and I've, I've made it I haven't put it um, straight so that looks look more uh, organic do you think and then unscrew that and then look at look inside what I put inside I want to show you this I think this is cool look I've put my little sink signature little um animal little uh, insect it's a ladybird on top of the the camo so I've got a um uh, a cache within a cache to keep it really dry I don't like wet uh, uh, logs to sign so I've put one inside there and it's got enough room for one little um swappable little marble there you are okay that's that a different version on that the camo uh countryside if you're urban uh, I've got um, some laid like this. Look, there's a mag same same thing, but just using silver uh, tape. Uh, same thing with the same thing inside. But you can see there's a little magnet that I've knocked off. Um, I think there's like a, a latch on one of the uh, cabinets or something, and I've uh, used the magnets there and then just taped them. That's on a series uh, that's um, on the um, Seven Valley Railway where there's a, a gate. It's all metal, and I've you can click it on there. So there you are, uh, two different types of the same version. Uh, ah, what I'm going to do now? Ah, yes, I know. Oh, these as well. I thought these would be quite good. Big logs. You can plonk it down there. You can even put a big thing in there. But to hide away, you could hide away little micro, uh, those little micro. If I can get it out, little micro. Uh, nanos actually no they're little nanos i'm going to put to this bolt screw it like that and put it at the bottom there deep in there look deep in there and then look at this i'll keep my little nanos in it so i don't lose them look um there look come here come here little nano magnetic catch it doesn't want to come out it does then that can be in, in the bottom of the log and then you can put these one little magnet like that and, and uh, people will know if they turn it over the muggles won't really spot it because it'd be right at the bottom they wouldn't even think they think that's just a rotten piece in the in the in the wood that's actually oak so that's a different idea look and then there's a little tiny little um uh, if you've done geocaching you know there's a little uh, log inside there you need tweezers to get that out and another version oh, i'm going to lay this down but i haven't built this but uh, you could actually build one if you if you really clever i suppose oh i don't know you'd have to drill through the thing but look there's a there's um, a nut and bolt and there's the log inside there look isn't that cool that's going to go on somewhere special because that costs a little bit more extra i mean all the rest were quite cheap because i'm building them myself and I'm going to lay down a box, uh, a bigger box, a small box, and you can print these off the internet as well, official geocache. And then you can see I've done the Gorilla Tape as well. That's quite effective. You can do it all over if you want to have it even extra camouflage. But this will be going inside um, a hollowed... Um, uh, log and so the camo only needs to be like that there look so they'll th that's the only thing to show with leaves and then they can and that's for people it t explains to people who don't know about geocaching what they can do and why is it there and stuff and it's got some little um, items in inside there uh, so I've got about uh, my lucky number 13 13 caches to lay down on my uh, next uh, geocaching uh, well it won't be my adventure because <laughs> I'll be laying it down for other people but um, I hope you like that um, if you'd like to comment below and tell me what you think uh, think of other ideas and I'll, I'll have a go at them uh, anyway I'll leave you with one, one of my couple of my um, geocaches there you are then I'm going to...
drop on the floor. <laughs> there you are. A couple of my geocaches. Okay, this was Symbol. And you can see me at uh, geocaching.com. And happy geocaching, everyone. Hope you can subscribe, like, and comment. And bye for now, everyone. Bye.